Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We are testing out the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Face Palette. I'm Christy, if you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us, we're here every Friday and Sunday and we just love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below, it really does help my videos out. You can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure and check out my merch Glamorous Life collections. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's dive into this. So this is the brand new holiday 2022 face palette and I did pick up the fair medium one. Can we talk about how gorgeous this palette is? Let's take a look at those close up shots. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is just pure Charlotte Tilbury perfection. It just looks so beautiful, so girly. It really fits the whole pillow talk theme. It is beautiful with the rose gold and the pearlescent pink. Oh, it's just breathtaking, this packaging. And I love what she does with, this is actually my first face palette I've actually ever purchased from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm really excited. And you get like that gold, almost slightly rose gold highlighter, as well as more of that blush topper pink highlighter. But I really love how she has like that quilt embedded into the baked type powders. It is just beautiful and I have to admit I already played with this palette off camera and I wore this the other day and it lasted like 12 hours it was it was forever you guys it lasted a really long time this is a gorgeous palette I got it a lot later than everyone else I don't know why my shipment took so long with Charlotte Tilbury but it took a long time to get to my California address so I am so excited to test this out for you guys, let you know if it's worth it in the whole Sephora sale. As I mentioned on Friday's video when I created this Pat McGrath new look with the new palette, the Celestial uh, Nirvana Bronze Bliss. That's what I have on my eyes, so make sure you check out that video. I just did this on Friday. And as I mentioned, the Sephora VIB sale starts for us Rouge members on October 28th and it ends on November 7th. It picks up for VIB on November 1st and then for uh, Insiders, it picks up on November 3rd and it all ends on November 7th. You can pick up this palette as well as the Mothership Pat McGrath palette in the Sephora sale. So if you guys wanna hold on for that date and really get be able to utilize the 2015 or 10% off, I would highly recommend that. But Charlotte does have really good discount codes on her website too. Let's say if you're an insider and you only get 10% off in the Sephora sale, you might wanna to try to get a 15% off coupon. You can always find them. Just Google Charlotte Tilbury, uh, promotion codes and you'll find one on there. Someone will have it. Usually like Forbes magazine has them and stuff like that. So really search and find them. They're always changed. So I can't give you one and then just say that's going to work. It may not work. So I tell you, if you just Google it, you will find a good discount. And I do have my affiliate links for both charlottetilbury.com as well as Sephora, and they will be at the top in the bottom underneath this video in the description box. But this is gorgeous. This is well worth it to me. This is $75. Now you may think, gosh, that's a lot, Christy. And I understand it is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. We're in a world right now where anything is a lot, but you are getting two blushes and two highlighters. So just try to keep that into perspective when you're looking at the full palette. This is the new Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. This is the blush plus glow for eyes and cheeks. So you can use this on your eyes as well. And this is $75 as I already mentioned. So you get four pans, again, two blushes, two highlighters for 0.13 ounces and 3.8 grams of product per pan. The total weight size is 0.52 ounces and 15.2 grams. That's the net weight. But if you really break up 15.2 grams divided by 75, you're looking at about $4.93 per gram. So we're still under $5 per gram. That's pretty good for Charlotte Tilbury and the quality you're getting. This is available in two different shade variations. Again, I picked up the fair medium, but you can also pick up the medium to dark. Even us light, light medium skin tones could probably still get away with that one. But these were just more 
more my tones, the pink tones. Those were a little too red for my taste, my preference, and I knew those highlighters would be too dark for me. So I stuck with the fair and a medium and I'm really happy with it. It is absolutely stunning, but we'll go over both shades just so you guys know, even though I only have one on site, but let's just kind of quickly go over the details. So this Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette has silky pearl glow filter and glass-like powders to give the skin a gorgeous glow, silky mica for a soft gliding effect, allowing easy application for a smooth finish, a soft focus silica, which is a rich velvety texture that reflects the light beautifully, and moisturizing glycerin for hydrated and smoothed filling skin. This is infused with a glow booster for a skin gilding effect. Pillow Talk is everyone's perfect shade used to beautify your eyes, cheek, and face. So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients right there. I mean, there's quite a bit, so you can take a look for yourself. I don't think there's talc in here, you guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not seeing it, but if there is, let me know in the comment section, but I think this is talc free. It doesn't really like point that out, so maybe there's an ingredient in there that I don't know is talc, like a generic name for it, but let's take a look at those swatches. Oh my gosh, you guys, so that's outside. Oh, so pretty. And it's just natural daylight. It is just really picking up the true tones. And then that's inside swatches. And this is just in natural daylight, no fancy lights, ring lights, nothing. That is just purely natural daylight coming in. What you see is what you're gonna get when you pick it up. It is really, really beautiful. So let's take a look at each individual swatch. So we have this soft blush, which is a cool, pink matte blush, really soft tone, but still picks up pigment. Not as punchy as the other one, but really beautiful. And then we have the super blush, which definitely packs more punch, and that's a peach pink matte blush. And then we have the multi glow, and this is an existing shade from her Pillow Talk uh, Glow in Romance Light Pillow Talk Party Collection. So that is an existing shade and that's a rose gold highlighter, more of like a blush topper. And then we have Super Glow, which is the warm glow highlighter. Oh, it's just really, really beautiful. Again, you can use this on the eyes. These are colors I personally wouldn't use on the eye. Maybe the Super Glow I would use as like a really beautiful highlight, like an inner corner highlight and stuff like that. That might be really pretty. But me personally, I'm not big on pinks on my eyes as the Glam Fam knows, but really, really gorgeous. I don't have arm swatches of the dark one. So I'll just show you the stock photos. We have the soft blush. That's a peachy rose matte and then Super Glow, which is the gold highlighter, Super Blush, which is the punchier, more red tone blush, and that's a warm rose matte, and then Multi Glow, again, is from is an existing shade that's in her Pillow Talk, Multi Glow Dream Light from her Pillow Talk Party Collection, and that's a pink gold highlighter. They're both available, again, at Sephora, so if you are a Rouge member, you will get 20% off of this palette. If you're a Sephora VIB member, you'll get 15% off. And then if you're an insider, you'll get 10% off. I will be putting out my makeup recommendation or yeah, beauty recommendations, I should say, for Sephora sales. So that will be out in the coming weeks, but I am gonna split it up. So I have, I already kind of have my list broken down. So I have makeup in one video and then I'm gonna do hair and skincare in another because I don't have a ton of skincare. I personally recommend, because you guys know I'm all about dermatology. So. I only pretty much use dermatology, but I do want to point out a couple of products that I have discovered just because I do want to venture out a little bit. And I'm really excited because Ule Henriksen actually reached out to me and wanted to send me this uh, Ule Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. So I will show you guys how I applied it before I did my makeup today, before I did this look. This is a really beautiful moisturizer. I mean, really beautiful. I have actually been using this over my Kills Ultra Facial Cream, and you guys know how much I love my Kills Ultra Facial Cream. Like, I love that stuff. But this one is a really amazing moisturizer. It really glided on my face. As you can see, it leaves a really fresh face 
beautiful look to the skin. I'm absolutely, actually really obsessed with this and I have been using it nonstop since I received it in the mail. It is really, really beautiful. This is $48. It's 1.7 ounces, 50 mil. That's the standard size. You can pick this up in a mini size for $19 and you'll get about a half an ounce in 15 mils. And then the highlighted ingredients are eight amino acids, hydrates and supports the skin elasticity, eight peptides, condition and supports strong skin, three ceramides, which binds moisture fortifying skin's moisture barrier. It's a daily moisturizer powered by peptides, amino acids, ceramides, and collagen. This quickly doubles as hydration, visibly boosts elasticity, and improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles and reinforces skin's moisture barrier all day. They do actually have a bundle for the holidays, so I might be picking this up because I like to have a travel version of this and you can get the Hydration Mini Moisturizer and Eye Cream Duo. I really like the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I used that one in the past. I don't have the new one, but I think it's a little extra more vitamin C in the new one. My old one is too old, so I had to throw it out, but you get two of those mini sizes for $25, and that's great to travel with and tr test out the product if you really want it, but really good discount. I really, really love this stuff, and this actually has a slight fragrance to it not fragrance but like a skincare you know it has a it's not fragrance free let's put it that way so I thought it was gonna affect my skin I've been using this for over a week I didn't want to talk about it until I really knew if my skin can tolerate it and if I really really liked it and I really like this I actually been using this I didn't even use a primer today I just used this and then I put my foundation. I have my Il Maquillage and Armani Luminous Silk combination. It is really amazing. So I really wanted, this is something to definitely pick up and we'll talk more about it during the sale. This is not a Sephora one, but I was also sent this from May Love and I'm not really that familiar with their company, but this is a really amazing eye cream. This is the May Love Eye Enhancer Ultimate Gel Cream. I want to say it's around $29. It is really, really amazing. I'll put the price point right there. But this is, yeah, $29.95. It's caffeine for dark circles and puffiness, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and panthenol. I think I said that right, for deep hydration. It is really nice and it lies under makeup really beautifully and not a lot of eye creams do that for me personally. So I love it. I will have all the affiliate links on the bottom. As always, when you guys utilize my links, it really goes to help support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. I know there's a ton of us YouTubers and a lot of affiliate links out there. So obviously you guys are gonna use the ones you want, but it really does help my channel out, you guys. I am a smaller channel, so I can't go out and buy both palettes because I literally would go broke if I did that. So I have to really be mindful. I mean, we all know everything's so expensive, groceries and everything right now, gas, everything is so crazy. My electricity bill was insane this month. So I have to be mindful. I can't pick up both palettes. So when you guys utilize those links, a lot of these products I am buying myself. Yes, I was sent this, but a majority, like 85% of everything I use, I buy. So. You know, it just does really help you guys. It helped me out and it's nothing extra for you guys. You're gonna buy the product anyway. It's no extra cost, but when you just click that link, it really does help me. No matter what you buy, I get credit for. Even if you clicked on this link for Pillow Talk and went to this and it showed you, but you were like, I don't really want that. I want something else. I'll get credit for anything in the basket. So I greatly appreciate that. And you guys, whenever you scroll down, in the description box below, I have like the products I wore and talked about. And then below that is all the stores that uh, I get affiliate links for. So just all those stores, no matter what you buy at those stores, Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's, Chantecai, Patrick Tall, Lancome, all of the stores. I mean, you name it, I have a link for it, Dior. So 
if I don't, if you don't see it, just comment and say, hey, Christy, I don't see this store. I even have the UK stores that I get credit for. So Space NK, Look Fantastic, Colt Beauty, all of those are below. And it really does help go back to buying all this makeup to review for you guys. So it helps me out. Sorry for the long explanation, but there was a couple things I was like, I need to talk about these products and I don't always get it because I only do two videos a week. So really really like this check this out you guys if you're looking for a really good moisturizer slash primer because you really can i can't believe i have no smoothing primer on that's incredible my skin looks flawless now grant you this il maquillage foundation is incredible but that's what i have on and then i have pat mcgrath concealer on today so we are all set i do have a little bit of contour because i filmed this eyeshadow video and just for me i just love my contour so there is a slight bit of my viseart noir contour on but i don't think it's going to make that much of a difference so let's show you guys how these perform relative to the nars one i just rated oh my goodness you guys check out that video because that nars cheek palette was a big letdown, but you can you can check it out for yourself. So I am gonna start off with the lighter one, just so you guys can see what it looks like, and then we'll do it like the lighter one on this side, and then we'll do the darker one on that side, and then I'll eventually put the darker one on that side because I wanna match up. So this is the soft blush, and again, this is a cool pink matte blush. On its own, this one is very, this is a very buildable color, let's put it that way. But see, as it builds, at least you still see something. Whereas like the NARS one, I couldn't see anything at all. But in my mirror, I see it. I don't know if you it's picking it up with my bright lights, but in my mirror, I'm actually seeing it. With the NARS one, I could not see it. But it's not punchy like I like. So on its own, not my favorite. Now, if I took a denser brush, which I always say on my channel, that is going to pick up more. Now this is, again, a clean one. This has a little bit of foundation stained on it, or sorry, a powder stained on it, bronzer I should say, but it is freshly clean. So I'm gonna take, this is a Dallium Tools BHD, this is the uh, 98966, I think, 966. 966 or 986, one of the two. So I'm gonna take that in there. I do appreciate the pan sizes because this is a big brush and I'm still able to fit it in there. So that's what it looks like. So this is a denser brush, but again, it's still not picking up a lot of pigment. Just it's a very soft focus. Like it's a soft blush. That's what it's supposed to, that's what it's meant for. Again, not my cup of tea, but it is really beautiful. I like the two together, but we're just, I wanna show you them individually. Now we're gonna go in with the darker, and this is the super blush, and this is a peachy pink matte blush. Really beautiful, so let me show you guys. And these actually swatched really pretty. So this is, again, very clean on this Rosen Ben brush. Really pretty. I'm gonna knock that one off just a little bit. And I'm just gonna place that in. But they are very buildable, which I appreciate, because when you look at a color like that, you don't want it to be like, boom. Uh, in my monitor, it doesn't feel like I can see it. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but in person, I can definitely see it. So it might just be that I'm not really seeing it there. But again, these are not like crazy pigmented, so but they're more pigmented than the NARS ones. And I think they're really pretty. And for me personally, I actually like this kind of blush for the winter. When I, I think summer brighter blushes are really pretty. And plus I like to lay down a lot of the times. I like to lay down my cream ones first. This is like my, I'm obsessed with this color. This is the Armani number 30. This is more of a coral color really 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 beautiful color really beautiful i'll use this in an upcoming video i'm using it non-stop off camera but yeah that is really pretty so that's what that looks like this is the super blush that's the soft blush again not really punchy punchy but buildable and beautiful so i only have that slight bit of contour on i do have this uh i underpainted with the charlotte tilbury hollywood uh 
light uh, contour wand. This is in the fair medium. It's like I'm obsessed with this product. I just mentioned it in my favorites video. If you haven't checked out my monthly favorites September video, I just talked about that and I am obsessed with it because it's so soft and not, as you can tell, it's not muddy or it doesn't look like it's too much. That's what I like about it. And you can still see the blush over it, which is so pretty. These would really go well with pink gasm. I don't know where my pink gasm is. It's around here somewhere, but I'm not I'm not even going to attempt to find it. I only like pink gasm in the summertime though, not for winter. So now you see what it looks like on its own. You can build this up. Let me show you what it looks like built up though. See how you can build this up and it's going to come out really beautiful. This brush too is another really good one. I was using this one the other day with it, uh, but it has a little bit of the peach from the Armani, I think on there. So I don't wanna use that one today because that's another Dallium Tools one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the two just so we can get them together and show you guys the true, what you can do with this palette. And I like the fact that I can mix it and I'm not wasting colors that way. So that's always nice. Now watch this, we'll go on this side. See, now that, that is where the pigment comes from. So I actually think mixing the two is much better. This is really hard to get into this uh, palette because it's a little bit smaller. This is my BK Beauty 106. Let's take this one and let's try to, it's smaller and it's gonna fit in here more. See that? Look at that. Actually, that was a really good brush for that. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, do you guys see? What I like about this blush is it's so softening on the skin. It doesn't accentuate your texture. You get like this glow from within type look. It is really beautiful. And do you see how this really just built up into something really, especially in my lights here, I'm like, I mean, in person, I'm like, whoa, okay, calm down. That's a little bit much. Whereas like the NARS one, it just, I was like digging in where this one, at least I'm getting some pigment there. And I think together, it is like one of the most beautiful blush tones I have ever seen and really gives you that youthful appearance. So I think the BK Beauty 106 and the Dallium Tools for this particular blush, and sometimes it just depends on the blushes, and this Dallium Tools BDHD, and this is in 968. These are my two favorite for this blush palette. It just really gives you such a gorgeous, gorgeous look to the skin. It is stunning. That is a gorgeous blush. Oh my gosh, I really like that. And you guys know, I usually like things with more pigment and more pizzazz, pizzazz, but I really like this one. All right, now I'm gonna take my Linda Helberg highlighter brush, and this is a 306. And we're gonna go into the, kind of like the super glow highlighter. This is, to me, like almost like a cross between yellow and pink undertones. It's really beautiful, like really beautiful. We're gonna put that right here, right where the punch is. Do you guys see that? Ugh, oh, stunning. Look at that glow. Whew, a bit down the nose. Let's try it with my, I feel like I got a little bit more punch with my Wayne Goss airbrush. Let's try that. Oh yeah, so I get more punch from my airbrush. I, don't, I wanted to try it with the Linda Helberg one, but yeah, I like that much better. I mean, there's nothing really surpasses this Wayne Goss one. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Do you see how smoothing that is on my skin? Like what texture? Cause I don't see any texture. It literally blurs out your skin. It's really beautiful. It's giving me that same Natasha Denona face palette concept. It is gorgeous and I'm more of a powdered girl so I love that this is all powders like I'm just a powdered girl all my girls in the comments let me know if you're a powdered girl so pretty all right now let's take my BK Beauty A507 we're gonna go into this blush topper just a rose gold blush topper so pretty and we're just gonna put that over here just like right there. I haven't used this color yet. 
So this is the Multi Glow Highlighter. This is an existing shade. So maybe some of you are already familiar with this one. I like this because this kind of, I can get into this type of blush topper because it's not accentuating my texture. So usually I don't personally like those just because it accentuates my texture. I liked it more when my skin was perfect. We're getting back there, but we're not quite there yet. But I like that. That's really pretty. That's the first time I tried that one. Let's go back into the Super Glow highlighter and just go over that a little bit. This is more my jam. This is more my kind of highlighter. I love this one. It's so beautiful. So pretty. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna go back in and just kind of take a little bit more of that pink. So, so pretty. What do you guys think? So I think combining the two pinks is much better. I prefer the lighter one than the multi-glow one, but it's still pretty. And I think the multi-glow one would be beautiful during the summer months and spring months. Uh, for winter, I personally like more of a matte look. That's just me, that's my thing. You know, a lot of people like to glow all the way around. I like to glow on my eyes, but not necessarily on my skin. And to me, even if I had perfect skin right now and I had no acne, uh, and I didn't have any acne type of scarring or anything, I still have fine lines and wrinkles. And for me personally, just personally, I think when you glow too much and you are over 40 on your skin, it can accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. And my, that's just my opinion. So I know a lot of people like that look, but it's just my opinion. All right. We are all done, it is all on. This is the final look, because I already did everything else. I think it is really pretty. Ah, uh, okay, these are my thoughts. Absolutely gorgeous. From the packaging to the actual product, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And I, I told you, I've been using this. I like them together, which makes me feel good that I can utilize both blushes. I do wish, okay, in a perfect world, that there'd be just a bit more punch. And I do wish that this had a little bit more peach in it. And I think that would have been like my ultimate palette, like ultimate, because I think the textures and everything are so beautiful. I do wish this packed a little bit more of a punch, this highlighter. I think it's pretty, but it's still pretty subtle. So let me give you guys a difference. So this Natasha Denona face palette that I pretty much ranked as the top face palette of the year. I like this highlighter a lot more, but this is just my kind of highlighter. So you, you will see the difference. Definitely more punch. And that one's $48. So let's, I'm gonna, I'll tell you at the end, but I think you already know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna rate this a four out of five stars because I don't wanna take away from the fact that it is a beautiful texture and a beautiful quality. This is for my girls, and I almost would say this is a five out of five for my girls out there that don't like a lot of glow, that don't like a lot of punch in their blushes, because not everybody likes a lot of punch, punch, punch. And again, like I said, I like formulas that are buildable, especially for the winter. So this is one I see myself pulling out for winter and natural looks. When I used this the other day, it was more of a natural look. I didn't do this full glam. So this full glam look, I'm not getting the same vibes as I did with my everyday clean girl makeup look. So that is where I guess that's kind of like, this one is too much when I'm doing my clean girl everyday looks. So this is one I would have liked better with this look. But for this glam eyeshadow look, this would not be a palette I would personally probably pull out because I have too many other choices, okay? But it is really beautiful. So let's just take a look at my rate card really quick. So application, I mean, you can't, you, you just can't go wrong with Charlotte Tilbury. So no points taken off for that. 100%, it is so smoothing and so poor perfecting. Pigmentation, that's where we kind of, I felt like we needed a little bit more punch from those blushes. And maybe I would have been better with the medium deep. So who knows, but I think I still would like, I think that highlighter would have been too dark for me. I just wish these were more customizable. So pigmentation, I would say 90%. 
I wouldn't say a hundred, but it's not ter It's not like the NARS. NARS was really bad. So I definitely love that I can use both colors, like I said, and it picks up the punch. Shade formulation, I think as far as like the highlighter formulation and the blush formulation, I don't think you can, I would say elect pigment, but the formulation was there. So if that makes any sense. So 100% there. Long wearing, I can honestly say this is long wearing. Even though there's not a lot of punch, I wore this, like I said, for a very long period of time and it stayed all day long. So 12 hours, it was beautiful. So 100% long wearing. Color story, I think it is really beautiful. I would have liked to see a little bit more peach undertone, but that's just more of a personal preference. So I'm still gonna say 100% for color story because I think the color story is absolutely gorgeous. Worth the money? I do think it's worth the money. And I know you guys are gonna go, what, you don't think the pigmentation's there? I still think it's worth the money because the package, you're paying for the packaging and the quality and you're paying for two blushes and two highlighters from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm still gonna say 100%. Packaging alone is just so unbelievable. And this is luxury makeup that we're paying for. So I would say 95% of me would recommend this face palette, this particular shade variation for my skin tone. Really beautiful. Like, I just think it's really, really a beautiful palette. And as I look at it more now, even in person, I see so much more picking up than I do in my monitor. So I think it is really stunning. Like I said, this is one to really pull out for an everyday look. And I have been, the last several days I've been pulling this out. So that's why I almost wanna say 100% because I really do love the palette and I, w I don't regret purchasing it. Some products I'm like, gosh, I wish I can return this. I bought this from Charlotte Tilbury, so it's a little bit harder process to return things. But if I, even if I bought it at Sephora, I wouldn't return it because I do really like it. And I, again, I like it for more of my everyday looks. I'd pull this one out for more of this look but that's just me and I'm just extra like that. So I hope that helped you guys out. This was something you were interested in. I do have the Hypnotizing Eye uh, Diamond Pops. I have those in the mail. They're still not here yet. I picked up the Emerald Eye and the Diamond Eye. So we're gonna try those out in a different video. I was hoping it'd come in time to combine it all in one, but it didn't. So I thought, those are only going to be available on charlottetilbury.com those two shades i think the other shades will be on sephora but those two shades that i bought will only be available on charlotte tilbury so i thought this would be good to just kind of rate by itself and really give you guys an idea in case you wanted to pick it up during the sephora sale now if you're on the fence about it get it it's really beautiful it really is you guys like i the more i look at it the more i love it i know a lot of guys that don't like like super punchy blushes. They're just not blush people. So, uh, you know, take that. I think my dad was one of them too. He wasn't really one to like a lot of blush. Like if I had a lot of blush on, he'd be like, maybe you want to calm that down a little bit. So I know some men that don't like a lot of punch. So if your husband or your boyfriend or your significant other is like that, that's something to keep in mind because this would be a beautiful palette to have in your collection then because it gives that right amount of punch. And again, what I like is it doesn't accentuate our fine lines, our texture. This is a mature skin, beautiful dream. So nothing surprises me with Charlotte Tilbury. She always comes out with perfection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here before you go, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join us. We're here every Friday and Sunday, and we just really love for you to become part of our family. Please give this video a huge thumbs up when you guys hit the like button and when you comment below. It really does help my videos out, plus I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to my Glam sisters. You can follow me on all of my socials at Christy Allure and check check out my merch, Glamorous Life Collections. There's a lot of cool stuff on there for the holiday season for your loved ones. I even have like little kid t-shirts, like toddler shirts and little girl shirts and even uh, onesies. So you can check that out if you have any loved ones that are having babies, hashtag Glam Life onesies. So definitely check out my merch. There's some really cute stuff and obviously that does really go back to supporting my channel and I greatly appreciate that. I love you guys so much and I will see See you next week. Bye guys. Love you. Mm -hmm.